Please join me in welcoming to the stage Ya Van Etten, founder and CEO of Daytena. Daytena is a leading provider of open source intelligence, focusing on China's techno-economic landscape. Let's hear from Yap about how they're leveraging open source data for deeper China insights. Thank you for the kind introduction. Here is a harsh reality for you. China will surpass us in the technological and military capabilities in 10 years. And the sad thing is, you won't even know it happened unless we start using techno-economic intelligence now. Let me give you some context here. Yes, sir. And I need a clicker. Damn it. Stein, um, hold that thought. Yes. February 4th last year, the US Air Force shut down a Chinese weather balloon that had been flying over the US for two weeks. Or was it a spy balloon? Anyway, what was interesting and what surprised people is that the balloon was full of US technology, imported by Chinese companies that were not yet on any entity list. This should not have happened. With state-of-the-art open source intelligence, people could collect data and actually assess export of US technology to China in advance, instead of waiting for a company to get on an entity list. Well, in the grand scheme of things, this balloon is still relatively innocent. And I would say relatively, but next slide, please. What isn't innocent is that in the same month, it was shown during a war game exercise that China's new hypersonic missile could destroy a US aircraft carrier as far away as Hawaii. And again, we were struck with surprise. And again, that shouldn't happen. And it doesn't need to happen. Because these hypersonic missile technologies, they're not developed overnight. And they're also not the development of just a research institute or just the military spending money. No, actually, they're a group of organizations, industries, universities working together in unison with the Chinese government and the military to reach very specific military and technological goals. And the fact that this unison of universities, companies, military and defense are all working together, that points to the case that you need to have a full overview of China's techno-economic landscape to get to the right answers. If you just know what universities are doing, you don't know what China is doing. If you just know what the industry is doing, you don't know what China is doing. And if you just know what the government is doing, you don't know what China is doing. Next slide, please. Oh. My name is Jan van Etten. CEO and founder of the Tenna. Next year, I will have been working for 20 years on techno-economic intelligence on China. First, as the attaché for science and technology in China, where I experienced firsthand the difficulties and the labor-intensive work of collecting data on China's science and technology progress. It was that experience that led me to start the company that you see here today. I wanted to automate OSINT on China. And since that time, we've grown to a world leader where we provide intelligence to 10 countries all over the world, specifically on China. I didn't build the software myself. We built it with a team of 70, over 70 China analysts, data scientists, and AI experts, all working together on China techno-economic intelligence 24-7 every day. Next slide, please. 
This results in the fact that we have the best data on China. Over 40 million companies, thousands of research institutes, and millions of tenders, funding programs, projects, patents, all the data points that you need to make better decisions. Next slide, please. Well, <clears throat> back um, to that incident with the balloon. Um, one of the companies involved was a company eMast. And again, that company wasn't on any entity list. Next slide, please. If you would investigate that company now, would you come to the same conclusion? You just type in eMast in our system. You click on the first search results, which immediately brings you to the profile page of the company eMast. Now, you quickly have an overview of all the data points we collect from this company. And immediately you see there is a little green defense label attached to this company. Such a defense label is often a good starting point to see what kind of company you're dealing with. In this case, you can see that the company got the defense label given by our AI system because the company is involved in military procurements. Next slide, please. Another good starting point is looking at the shareholder tree of a Chinese company. Often these shareholder trees are very complex and multi-layered. That's why it's important to have a structured visual overview that you can play around with to get a good overview of how the shareholder tree actually is all together. And I mentioned already the defense label. Well, that's not just for military procurements. Our AI system also detects patents with potential AI application. And in this case, I see that the company actually um, has several defense patents. One of these is on UAV landmine removing systems. Next slide, please. <clears throat> Drilling down a bit further, we already mentioned that they are involved in military procurements. Well, um, they provide to the PLA Army, the PLA Navy, and to several military defense companies. And this is just one company. Um, I'll pull up one more, Quantum SeaTech, a company at the heart of China's military quantum technology development. I can pull up the same kind of information that I just shown you with the other company. But what I want to draw your attention to is the fact that these companies don't operate in a vacuum. They're often geographically closely related to other companies also involved in defense technology. This shows you that it's important and key to have a good overview of all the companies and any kind of connections. So not just the shareholders, not just um, the key people working at the key management, but any kind of connection is important to you. Well, if I look back now at eMast, um, the slide is no longer there, but eMast, a company, that was involved in military procurements as early as 2019, was filing patents with a defense application as early as 2016, but it wasn't on any entity list before February last year. But what would your advice be if you were to decide on exporting high-tech US technology, knowing this in our system? Next slide, please. If you combine all the entity lists, all the blacklists together in the world, US, Japan, Europe, you come to 800 Chinese companies currently on entity lists. But if you use our system, there's 500,000 Chinese companies with ties to the Chinese defense industry. A factor of 1,000 more. If you are serious about national security, you secure this gap. Next slide, please. <clears throat> Working together with our major US clients, um, they've given us feedback on what the next level for them would be. This allowed our company to go beyond investment screening and beyond export control. Because many of our clients have a different mindset, more focused on intelligence gathering. Start the video. 
For instance, they are interested in a technology, satellite. You just type in the word satellite because you don't know what company you're interested in. Immediately, um, you can browse through the results of the companies and you can drill down because perhaps you're interested in the Chinese satellite navigation system, Beidou, or you're interested in their quantum communication satellites, or you've read something about quantum sensing satellites that could potentially detect nuclear submarines. Whatever you're interested in, with a few clicks, you define the sector, you define the technology that you're interested in, and our system will guide you to companies that you should care about. And it's not just individual companies, it allows you to look at sectors. Um, you can see trends over time, technology trends over time, and also define hotspots in China that probably require your attention. And I think this is what true techno-economic intelligence is about. Next slide, please. Well, I can do this for all day long. Um, type in semiconductor, chip, nano, um, that's immediately a sector defined and you get search results. So uh, whatever you want, you can go at it. But what I personally like about the system is that you can really drill down in a technology. Now, I've worked there for 10 years in China, been doing technical economic intelligence for 20 years, and I play around with the system. And then I saw um, just this morning, I made the, uh, the demo like a, a company I've never heard of before, high robotics. Involved in robotics, AI has a billion RMB registered capital and a defense label, and they didn't know about it. Well, um, I can say if I was still working at the embassy, I would have handed in half my own salary to just get this tool on my desktop. Next slide, please. <clears throat> well, um, I showed you our original system. I showed you the evolution of our system, um, and they're amazing. But there's one more thing. In a 2013 pitch deck, we envisioned a system with an AI agent. That vision was bold, ambitious, and frankly, a bit ahead of its time. But we worked hard, years of innovation, so we're here today to show you what the new evolution of our system is. Start the video. It is an AI assistant that allows you to dive into all the data points in our system. It's an intuitive way of conversating with our AI assistant to help you find the data that you need. How does it work, you might ask? Well, this LLM understands our system. Our entire system is not just made that other developers know what our LLM can do, or what our original system can do, I should say. No, instead, our software is written in such a way that LLMs understand what this system can do. So we're running this now, this demo on our own LLM, but if you have a secure location, and in that location, you run your own offline LLM, your LLM will understand how our system works. So every item you see here on the screen is actually part of our original interface. If I were to click on it, I would go to the original interface and I would be able to go back and forth between the chat interface and our original system. It is really fully interactive and this also allows you to check the results. So you don't have to trust the LLM assistant for the, for the answer the gives. You can actually go to our original system with all the original data points to see what's going on. Well, while I'm talking, a lot is going on behind my screen. And what is going on there? Uh, well, the ALM is finding out that a seemingly uninteresting Chinese company, a safe company, that was trying to import US technology. But in the same building, there is another company, another Chinese company in China, that actually is working with the military on the same technology that the seemingly safe company is trying to import. And that's a good starting point for you as an analyst to then dig deeper. Again, it's not going to take your work. It's going to make your work a lot easier because we all know this. If you have to collect data in the past, it would take me months, but now just mere minutes. And I will be able to start my actual research. Next slide, please. Well, <clears throat> if you want to hear more from us, because this demo 
is only 50 minutes, including some hiccups. Um, my thing is, we're in several panels today. We're at the booth nearby where you can schedule a private appointment for an online demo of this software. So you can see, this is a video now today, yes, for the demo, um, but we can give you a live demo of our system and show all the three components that are working here today on the fair. And with that, one more thank and applause to the SCSP. Um, they've been a big support to our mission and our company. That's it, see you at our booth.